schedule wouldn't get any easier in week four of Big 8 play for Kansas State as the Wildcats continue to be on the road. K-State traveled to Oklahoma where the Sooners wanted revenge for a 21-7 setback to K-State in Manhattan in 1993. Oklahoma was very tough on defense early, but under Bill Snyder, Kansas State has proven it can find a way to win anywhere, anytime, against any team, under any circumstances. While the offense was trying to adjust to Oklahoma's blitzing defense, Wildcat punt blocking specialist Chuck Marlowe was busy. Blanton is punting instead of Doherty this time, and Kansas State blocks the punt. The ball is free at the 20-yard line. It's picked up by Kansas State's Gordon Brown at the 10, five, touchdown, Kansas State on the block punt. K-State got a block punt here two years ago that set up a touchdown. Chuck Marlowe blocks his third punt of the season. It was picked up by Gordon Brown and Kansas State gets a special teams touchdown. That play produced K-State's only first half points, and the Wildcats took a slim 7-3 lead in the locker room at halftime. The Wildcats, however, would explode in the second half. The second half blitzkrieg started for the Cats with an alert play by speed merchant Ron Brown. Chad May then started to heat up and lit up the Sooners, going to one of his favorite targets. Even when Oklahoma eventually scored in the second half, Big 8 defensive newcomer of the year, Chris Canty, doused the Oklahoma score with one of his own. Kansas State's team speed has increased dramatically over the past six years under the watchful eye of Bill Snyder. A visible sign in the Oklahoma game was Ron Brown's 69-yard sprint to the goal line. When the air assault, block party, and track meet was eventually over, Kansas State had smoked Oklahoma for the second straight year. As the Wildcats exploded for 30, count them, 30 second half points to route the Sooners 37 to 20. And K-State picked up its first win in Norman, Oklahoma since 1970. November 5th was homecoming for Kansas State. It was also payback day in Manhattan, as the Wildcats hosted on KSU Stadium's Wagner Field, the Iowa State Cyclones. The Cyclones a year previous had upset Kansas State in Ames, but this day it was all Kansas State, as the Wildcats rolled up 547 yards of total offense en route to a 38-20 victory. Chad May tied a school record with four touchdown passes, and before Iowa State knew what hit them, the Wildcats had blown open a 38 to nothing lead. JJ fourth in the league and rushing the football. Second down goal to go at the four, made a throw. Fires far, far side end zone, touchdown! Making the catch was Tyson Schweiger, his sixth touchdown of the season as his roommate fires a bullet on an out to the right side and Kansas State marches right down the field to score. Seventh play of the drive, all of them have been runs and they started at the three yard line. Play fake by May on second and seven. Sets up, has time, throwing long down the middle of the field. And the pass is caught by Ron Brown at the 10-5 touchdown. It was deflected by an Iowa State back, but Ron Brown stayed with his concentration, and Ron Brown gets the touchdown. Chad May fires a bullet near side to Ty Schweiger, reaches for the near pylon. Touchdown, Kansas State on the first play of the second quarter. It's the third Chad May touchdown pass of the game. The second to Ty Schweiger. Jason Johnson up over the football, second down and eight for the Wildcats at the Iowa State eight and a half. 
Chad May, play action fake, throwing for the end zone. Loik is wide open. He's got the catch. Touchdown. That time, Iowa State bit on the fake, and Brian Loika, the former Manhattan High School Indian, has his first career Kansas State touchdown. Defense ruled in this game for Kansas State through the first three quarters. Defensive end Niall Wyron showed why Kansas State's defense was one of the country's best, even when it emulated Kansas State's nationally ranked rodeo team. Eckler, Veach, and Gaskin still in at linebackers, 40 secondary, as Iowa State in the option, spread option set. Doxon is hit by Niall Wyron, and he takes him to the ground at the 25-yard line. It was like Kansas State's rodeo team. The starting defense pitched a shutout and also got into the scoring act later in the game on this play from sophomore safety Mario Smith. Now fires for Turner the near side. It is intercepted by Mario Smith at the 35. He's at the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Mario Smith. An interception return for a touchdown for Kansas State of 40 yards. Kansas State had another homecoming victory, their fifth straight such victory. But most importantly, the nation was now watching Kansas State football again as the Purples vaulted even higher in the national ranking.